right after this. Hi and welcome everyone here on 2K Sports. Can't wait to get some NBA action going. I'm Kevin Harlan alongside Greg Anthony, Steve Smith, and David Aldridge is joining us from the sideline. Hey Dave. Kevin, thank you. There is no question that Dallas's Luka Doncic has captured league-wide admiration. The Hall of Famer player and executive Jerry West said, we are watching genius, a superstar who will go down as the best player in Mavs franchise history. Considering Dirk Nowitzki was there for a long time, Kevin, the praise from Jerry doesn't get much higher or from a loftier perch. Indeed, something special, David. Thanks. A moment here now to see the numbers for Anthony Davis. And, guys, I think he's starting to feel the wear and tear of the season a little bit. That, that comes across in his rebounding numbers. They've dropped off this month. He needs that second win, and no doubt he'll get it soon. And now the Lakers starting group, LeBron and Davis, the incredible forward pair. Then it's Contavious Caldwell-Pope. Then there's Andre Drummond, and it's Caruso in at the point. And for Dallas. Kleba is the four with Porzingis in the middle. Doncic out there with Richardson. And it's Finney Smith in at the three, the small forward. And it's the Mavericks to start out. Now Doncic outside, Porzingis. Couple terrific centers in tonight's matchup here. Great, great pivots. But uh, center matchups are far from traditional, it seems like, these days. No doubt about it, Kevin. Once you get into this now small ball mindset, this positionless game, I mean, you're seeing guys as short as P.J. Tucker play the five. Because, listen, when you're 25 feet from the basket, if I'm 6'2 and you're 7'2, I can still guard you. So because of the spacing now, it allows you the luxury to play smaller. Free throw good from Caldwell Pope. And for Contavious Caldwell Pope, he's best when he lets the game come to him when he's not forcing shots, not making things tough on himself, not making tough passes. Uh, you know, Smitty, a simple approach does wonders for him. Kevin, you applaud the maturity of KCP to realize that he knew he needed to change his game to improve. Focusing on making the easy play has made him a very valuable member of this team. It's deflected. About a minute gone here in the first quarter. Here's Finney Smith. And no good. So Los Angeles will take it the other way. Coming into this, having notched to win against the Rockets in their last game. Yeah, they got into a terrific flow offensively. But a lot of that was because the defense they were facing was mediocre. Yeah, it seemed like they got every shot they wanted. I'm sure they wish every game could be that way. Here's Przingis following the basket by Anthony Davis. Just four to shoot. Kleba with the bucket. That's the pass you want. Orchestrating the offense, creating for others. James against Kleba. Trying to go for an alley-oop, but excellent defense and anticipation there to stop. Near the three-point line, it's Doncic. And trying for the go-ahead basket, it doesn't go in. Tries again. And it's Davis missing. Even though he missed it, this is the exact play your offense is designed to produce. For Zingas. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Andre Drummond picks one up. At 7-3, Porzingis is almost impossible to guard, especially when he's focusing on trying to score. The Mavericks shooting their first free throws of the game right now. Yeah, pretty good numbers on the season when you look at their free throw attempts right around 78%. Ties it up, and this next one could give them the lead. Well, coming into the lead with immense potential, Porzingis has already fulfilled much of it, already an all-star. But you know, Greg, there are still areas he's working on. 
Yeah, he, he's definitely getting stronger and, and more physical. You'd like to see him make the next pass a little more often when a teammate has a better shot. But if he can just stay healthy, boy, the sky's the limit on what he can accomplish. Because he knows he makes a living at the line, he invites contact and sometimes even initiates it. And with his length, Porzingis can be very disruptive on D. Not easy to get the shot off over that huge frame. A little artistry in the painted area converting against the size. Proving once again that when you attack with confidence, good things tend to happen. The Mavericks shooting their third free throw shot of the game. That's good from Richardson. And Greg, Josh Richardson's a terrific ball handler out on the wing who can create for others. Richardson gets a lot of assists per game at that wing position. Not just looking to finish plays, but also to create for others. Very well-rounded threat on the offensive end, and that gives this team another dimension in terms of playmaking. Steve, one thing I always think of when I watch LeBron, how much fun it must be to be a teammate of his. You know, Kevin, I wish I could have played with a guy like LeBron James. You get so many open looks and easy finishes with him on the court. One of the easiest superstars to play with, bar none. Free throw good, LeBron. You know, even though LeBron doesn't go 100% every minute of every game in the season, G.A., he still knows when to turn it on. And for someone at his age, that is something you have to know how to do. You can see when LeBron kicks it into that next gear. Can't keep it on all the time, but he's still able to take over when he needs to. And here is Los Angeles now, following the score by Dallas. But they'll get another chance. Here's Drummond, takes it into the teeth of the D and converts the layup. Entertaining trip down the court. Good defense, but Drummond beats it with a strong move. Anjic passes to Richardson. Here's Finney Smith, covered by LeBron. Six to shoot. It's up a three. Richardson, no luck. The Lakers trail. Here's Caldwell Pope. It's hauled in by Richardson. And he thought he had a clear path to the hoop, but the defense did give up on that play and cut him off. Some nice passing here by Dallas. Back to Porzingis, and it's out of bounds. Last touch by Doncic. No clue where that pass was going. That is a brutal turnover. And that was a great replay we just saw of our mobile one block. And early in the game, a defensive play like that goes a long way, establishing the attitude you want. And here is Los Angeles now. Caldwell Pope outside. Pass to Drummond. Here's Caruso to the inside. And Davis gets it to go. Davis has got his second basket of the game. See, in the past, the contact might have discouraged Davis, but now he plays right through it. Beasting on defense. First, he closes out hard on the shooter, then he attacks the glass. Beautiful. They blow the whistle just as he gets it off. That's two points with a chance for another one at the strike. And at last season's trade deadline, Andre Drummond traded away basically for a second-round pick. A shockingly low return for a guy who was once considered a franchise player. Hardaway's checked in for Dallas. Free throw good, James. And Greg, why is it that the Pistons got so little in exchange for Drummond? Well, I, I think he was an impending free agent. I think Detroit looking to rebuild. Also, it says something about the center position in today's game. Now, here's Richardson. He averages more than 12 points a game. That's some dependable production. Super assertive on the offensive end. Something Josh has worked on, and it's paid off. Frank, for those teams who have overachieved in the regular season, as the playoffs are coming up, how do they ensure 
their success continues into the postseason. Well, Kevin, the skeptics are, are still going to be out there. You just got to understand the playoffs are a different animal. You've got to be resilient and adaptable when the adversity hits because it's going to come. And the belief system so paramount to success of teams, especially underdog teams in the postseason. Do they have the confidence to get the job done? And Richardson drops them both. I'll tell you, he doesn't give points away. Excellent job from the line. Here's Caruso, guarded by Doncic. Well, you, you have to like their work on the boards, Kevin, particularly here to start the game. That's a beautiful move by Josh Richardson. And the defense, you got to be better than this. Can't allow a blow by. Now here's LeBron. Six points for him, and it's Drummond missing. And what should have been a simple pass and finish ends up in a missed opportunity on that alley oop attempt. It started off looking good, but the timing was just a little off, and sometimes that's all it takes. James, the lead pass was put in just the right spot. Eight points for LeBron. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. And here's Doncic from the arc. Andre Drummond grabs the miss. Drummond's got five rebounds tonight. Here's Caldwell Pope. Doesn't go for him. Nice D from Doncic. Richardson kicks to Doncic. Passes to Persingas. Kleba with it. Doncic outside. Five to shoot. Outside Hardaway. Brzingis trying to get free. It's hard to weigh that time on the assist by Doncic. And how about the vision there from Doncic can make the easy pass and also the difficult. And the Lakers decide to take their first time out here. And it was interesting how the Dallas franchise sold its fans on Doncic. Ownership told them, think of a 6'7 Steve Nash. Isn't quite the shooter Steve was, but is only a teenager. Great vision what he can really pass it and it turns out Doncic is all of that and more comes in for Maxi Kleba, and it's Jalen Brunson in for Doncic. Harold finds Morris. Here's Horton Tucker. Kuzma outside. Pocket six. And even Nash himself called Doncic a dream prospect. Yeah, he said Luka was big and mobile enough in the modern game, can guard multiple positions, has a skill set, a winning mentality, and those leadership qualities. Steve Nash sounding like a future GM. And so it's Dallas with it. Harrell with it. His last outing, 16 points for him. Here's Caruso. And it's Harrell missing. Here's Dallas. They've gone on a 10-2 run, not allowing much. Richardson, good. This isn't a tough case to crack. If they want to put an end to this run, they'll need to start getting back on D. Here's Kuzma. Playing Houston, he was nearly unstoppable. Right at the free throw line. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. Just in a perfect position to grab that rebound and then get the putback. Here's Richardson, and he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. And let's take a look at Kyle Kuzma's numbers. He showed up every night and some noteworthy performances over the last month. He's around 14 points per game, four rebounds, and two assists. 
Yeah, he's been making the right decisions and, and letting the game come to him. Solid play all around. He's not trying to take over necessarily. He's just taking what the defense allows and contributing to the calls. That's good from Richardson. I know you appreciate this, Greg. So much of defense now is closing out on the three-point shooting and then protecting the rim. Consequently, pull-up jump shooters are super valuable. And there are a lot of good ones in the NBA right now. Uh, no doubt about it. And, and, Kevin, you know, you think about a few guys. James Harden, I mean, he shoots that step-back three, but he's a guy that, because of his ability uh, to utilize your inability to defend that three-pointer, uh, Kyrie, Dame Lillard, those are some guys. Chris Paul still as good as anybody in that mid-range area. C.J. McCollum. These are guys that have really feasted and, and carved out a nice niche for themselves in the NBA because of that ability to take and make jump shots. Man, I love that list. You're right on. And, and the energy of a guy like Montrez Harrell can rub off on the entire team. Yes, it can. G.A., he plays with a high boulder generate steals blocks and deflections he's active all over the court and now we're seeing it on the offensive end as well that free throw missing well you know teams look for plus sixes players whose wingspans exceed their height by a half foot Montrez Harrell is a 6'7 player with a 7'4 wingspan if you're struggling with the math ladies and gentlemen that's a plus nine he hits the second from the line and between his length and his athleticism, Montrez Harrell well suited for that role of small ball center, Greg, in today's NBA. Yeah, I mean, he's fearless. He even giving up a few pounds, a few inches, he'll go right at you and making steady improvements as a rebounder year over year. Coley Stein with the defensive effort. He goes up strong, but he is met with resistance. Oh, that was something else. Yet another one by Richardson. If you got somebody that's going good, give him free reign and let him roll. Here's Harrell. That shot, no good. Coley Stein with the defensive effort. Here's Richardson. And a slam dunk by Richardson. And what a way to start this game, dominating at both ends of the floor. They came in prepared, focused, and really jumped on the other team early. Here's Caruso, still looking for his first bucket in this one. And the rejection by Coley Stein. And at a certain point, you just have to look to someone else to score for you. Yeah, that's too good a look to give him from behind the arc. Here's Caruso. Looking at his numbers, he's averaging about uh, six and a half points a game. Harold, the pass to Caruso. Here's Kuzma. And again, the Lakers, no good. On the wing, Hardaway. No good off the back of the rim. Yeah, he's kicking himself. No defenders to be found in that mid-range area. And the rejection by Coley Stein. Here's Brunson. They get it back. Powell, that's good. <laughs> Defensively, they've got to pick up the intensity. Hard to win surrendering this high a field goal percentage. Los Angeles calls timeout. Trying to find some answers offensively. Yeah, these guys need to work together as a team, as a unit. Try and carve out some easy buckets. comes in for Jalen Brunson. Marcus Gasol's checked in for the Lakers. 
106 left to play here in the first. Kuzma outside. And the Lakers with another miss. He's kind of lost his way this period, having a hard time getting anything to go down. Burke, the pass to Cauley Stock. Dallas moving it around. Hardaway, no good. And that one gives them a plus five rebound advantage, Kevin. Here's Horton Tucker. Guarded by Hardaway. Horton Tucker's shot is off. About three seconds between shot and game clock. Hardaway passes to Burke. Yes, and it's Hardaway picking up the assist. Hardaway has got four assists now tonight. Yeah, we're seeing some fireworks from them already. They established the pace. They made shots. This is why they're way out in front. Here's Kuzma. And no luck with that time on the buzzer beater. And so it's the Dallas Mavericks out in front by 17 points at the end of the quarter. Defensively, they have gotten after it, contesting every shot going up. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Gasol regarding his former teammate in Toronto, Kawhi Leonard. The way he plays defensively, you know what he stands for um, and how competitive he is. I mean, I don't need somebody to bang his chest or like scream or like be one of those guys to know if you're competitive or not. Like, I think that's the way he is, and, and I respect that. And, and he's actually a really good, you know, teammate and, and vocal and speaks when he needs to speak. And of course, Gasol and Leonard won the championship together in 2019, largely great because of their ability to play defense and get stops. And two former defensive players of the year on the same team, that's going to be your foundation. But both guys were tremendous at the other end as well, albeit in different ways. And so far through one quarter, it's been a lopsided game. We'll see if that changes here in the second. And quite a position here for the Mavericks to be in. What do you think, guys? You could see they were well prepared defensively coming into this one. Yes, what they do, they take away the things that teams like to do offensively. Also, keeping them out of sync. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineups courtesy of Gatorade as the second quarter gets going. On the court for the Mavericks. They've got Trey Burke. Powell is out there with Pauly Stein. Then there's J.J. Reddick, and it's Finney Smith in at the free side. And they're getting points. They're getting stops. And this is how they'd like to play all the time. Yes, when it's going good, it feels easy. These are the nights you relish, but they're tough to replicate. Just a solid performance on the interior. The rebounding has been off the charts. Beautiful location on the pass, as usual. Led his man perfectly. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. Los Angeles calls timeout. And a five-star recruit coming out of high school. Powell had an excellent college career, yet he fell to the second round of the draft. Didn't even hear his name called as he was selected during a commercial break. in for Powell and then for Los Angeles Anthony Davis has checked in for Morris Caldwell Pope comes in for Kyle Kuzma and it's LeBron in for Alex Caruso now here's LeBron he's got eight left side Davis and the pass to James Cross contact on the shot and now a three-point play chance as he'll head to the line 
And G.A., even when he did arrive to the NBA, it took Powell a while to latch on. You know, traded a couple times in his first year. He was assigned and recalled 10 times in about a month with Boston's D-League affiliate. Finally found a home in Dallas. Everything turned around from that point forward. Maxi Kleba, he's checked in for Burke. You know, the one chink in LeBron's armor, decent but somewhat inconsistent from the free throw line. Doncic kicks to Redick. Back to Doncic. Outside, Redick from the arc. The rebound by the Lakers. Last time they came together was in Dallas where they fell to the Mavericks. Yeah, in this game, they'll want to approach things a little differently, I think. Got blown out last time due to being a little too aggressive on the defensive side. A really embarrassing loss indeed, and one that they will hopefully learn from. Got to keep your hands to yourself sometimes, or it could cost you the game. Just reliable, guys. He's just always trying to make the right play. And the wide-open shot from Redick. Dallas, no good that time either. Inside, a well poke, and he throws it down hard with one hand. And that's a nice pass. The patience of LeBron to let the play develop. It's Reddick on the wing, covered by LeBron. Reddick passes to Cauley Stump. Back to Reddick. Six on the shot clock. Dallas needs to get off a shot. And here's Doncic from the arc. That shot is off. So the Lakers will take it the other way. It's amazing. All night he's been out of sync on the offensive end, yet they continue to lead. What a beautiful play, and it was great timing. Then the athletic finish by 80. Now here he's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Has to finish Smith. Holy Stein dishes to Reddick. And some shooters are specialists, but J.J. Reddick can hurt you from anywhere. That's what makes him very tough. Pass to Horton Tucker. And here is Drummond. Davis finds James. Back to Davis. Shoots over Reddick. And it's Davis missing. It's a plus five advantage for them in rebounding after that one. Reddick passes to Finney Smith. Dallas moving the ball around. Feeds it to Cauley Stein. Greg, we hear this a lot. It's almost too popular now to say good offense beats good defense. Being a defensive-minded player yourself. Okay. Do you agree with that statement? Absolutely, Kevin. And, and the thing is, in today's game, when I played, there was an era, you know, you could hold teams in the 80s and 90s. Uh, you could go a quarter and keep them at 12, 15 points. You can't do that now. It's different. You've got to be able to, to win stretches of two and three minutes. Uh, and, and honestly, you're right. It, the offense does dictate far more. Uh, but it doesn't discount the importance of defense. And it, if you still look at the, the reigning champs and the teams that have won titles recently, that's still one area that they're consistent in is their defensive approach. Mavericks making a switch here. Rosingas has checked in. No good on the second, so he hits one of two. And, and what I like about Cauley Stein is just how hard he plays. Really, both ends, a scrappy player. Never a bad idea to run the old kick play. Uh-uh, you're right. And if it produces a slam like that, we'll probably see more of them. Especially if the defense is going to allow you to do it. Have to switch on that play. And he's such a polished shooter. You can't give Doncic these kinds of opportunities, or he's going to burn you. Every time they get scored on during this run, it's come from inside the paint. Now, here's Doncic. Picked up 33 points in their last win against New Orleans. Here's Persingas. Again, the Mavericks score. When you have space like he did there, you never go with the fadeaway jumper. He has to attack the rim next time. James looking it over. Count that one as his seventh bank in eight attempts. A scorching 88%. Man, have they been effective at getting the ball inside. You want your bigs playing big. Rips it down in traffic. And James throws it down. In a class by himself, no one matches up with LeBron in transition. 
And Dallas calls their first time out of the game. They defeated the Pelicans in their last game. And a lot of that was game plan. Putting guys in a position to succeed, particularly on the offensive end. They understood what the defense was trying to take away and game plan a great strategy to take advantage of it. Some changes here for the Mavericks. Richardson, he's checked in for Red. And it's Jalen Brunson in for Cauley Stunt. And the Lakers also making a switch. On Trez Harrell, he's checked in for Drummond. And he gets it to go as they call the foul. He's on his way to the line for one more. Poor defensive effort. Can't stop Richardson from scoring. Then compounds the situation with the foul. And it'll be his fourth time going to the free throw line in the game. His offensive approach tonight has been aggressive, and it's paid off with a lot of trips to the line. Tim Hardaway Jr. has checked in for the Mavericks. That's good from Richardson. When you look at Richardson's skill set, you look at his size, you think, man, this guy could be a great 3 and D player. Now here's LeBron. He's got 19. Pass to Horton Tucker. Davis kicks to James. Loads it up for Davis. And it's Davis finishing it off. And hard to decide which was better, the pass, the catch, or the slam. Well, there's no wrong answer. Sens <laughs> sensational alley-oop. Doncic against James. The pass to Persingas. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. That one on Caldwell Pope. And at 7-3, Porzingis okay. could have been just another big, but he defies expectations. He's got such an impressive array of abilities. That free throw good from Porzingis. Powell, he's checked in for the Mavericks. And Los Angeles making a change here as well. Caruso's checked in. And both free throws good for Porzingis. And Caruso's got the ball here for the Lakers. They trail by 16. Following this game, they'll hit the road to challenge the Pacers at Pacers Arena in Indianapolis. That matchup falls in the middle game of this three-game trip. Now, here's Richardson. Following the miss by Montrez Harrell, Porzingis on the foul. And what a motor. Porzingis is an all-star talent who is also willing to do the dirty work. Caruso, the pass to Harrell. Davis dishes to LeBron. Got a piece of it. And Brunson has it in the corner. He doesn't hit that one. And the Lakers going the other way now. Caldwell Pope with a wide open look. And the three ball is good. Caldwell Pope's got eight. Here in the second quarter, he's looking much more comfortable with his offense. On the wing Hardaway. Tried to come right back with the three of his own. But it's no good. And for everything that Anthony Davis does on the floor, you can't forget about his defense. Still an elite-level defender, guards multiple positions, and turns away a number of shots. And let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. The NBA continues to build international academies to develop prospects from other countries. Already, academy graduates are playing Division I college basketball. Before long, NBA players should start emerging from that pipeline. He continues to reach out to find overlooked youngsters who have a gift and give them the opportunity. Guys? Outstanding, David. Thank you. Brunson, no good. And Davis gets a lot of blocks without getting in foul trouble. 
about a one-to-one -one ratio for him in his career. Uh, incredible. And he's done a great job of learning how to go straight up, playing vertical. Gets blocks, but doesn't get pulled out of position. Does everything you want from a defensive anchor. The shot by Powell, no good. Lakers trail by 15. James outside, and they double up James. Pass to Caruso. Let's it go from deep. It's hauled in by Richardson. Richardson's got four rebounds in this game. Out to Hardaway. They double him with James. To the left side wing. Brunson. Gallus, no good that time either. Los Angeles has gone one of three from way outside since the start of the second quarter. Davis, the pass to James. It's rebounded by Dallas. Earlier, they held a 23-point lead. Here's Hardaway, and Davis sends it back. What a play by Anthony Davis. You think you can get it over me? Nope, not on my watch. Here's Caruso. Count that bucket. And that pick takes the D totally out of the equation. Hey, if you're not going to fight over, you're essentially giving the shooter the look he wants. Dallas calls timeout. And as fans and broadcasters, we're not permitted to hear the specifics in these huddles. No, we're left to infer from the adjustments we see on the floor. comes in for Dwight Powell and Trey Burke subbed in for Jalen Brunson. Markeith Morris is checked in for Los Angeles. Kyle Kuzma comes in for James. Now here's Burke. Looking at his numbers, he's averaging about uh, six and a half points a game. And he can do a lot more damage to the rim than that when he wants to. Oh, you're right. And with the lead they're enjoying, I'm surprised he didn't put a little something extra on that one. Kuzma, that's good. Nice touch from Kyle there. Knows he can score from this area of the court. Burke finds Richardson. Outside Hardaway. Off target from outside. And Caruso's got the ball here for the Lakers. It's a 13-point game. Pass to Kuzma. Harold and good work on the boards they pick up the second chance points and of the last six baskets five have come on the interior this is just smash mouth physical basketball guys and there's the foul Here we're going Alex Caruso that is his first foul of the game Seven seconds left here in the second. Burke with the bounce pass. And it's Persingas that time on the assist by Burke. Persingas has got 10 points now just in this quarter. Such assertiveness. This is why Persingas is a go to option on offense. Never afraid to take a big shot. And we finished one half of basketball. Mavericks ahead. They lead by 13. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks, Kevin. AD, you see how they're playing you in the first half. What's the adjustment going to be? So, you know, we got to come out with a great intensity, and it starts in warm up. So, we got to come out uh, with a great intensity, great mindset, and try to go out there and win the third quarter. I have never heard anyone say it starts in warm ups until now. Thanks, AD. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David. We'll be back after halftime for the start of the second half momentarily. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Welcome back to 2K Sports, everybody. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith. Let's talk about that first half. It was Josh Richardson who got hot in the first. He ended up with 22 points, four rebounds, and one assist. Let's start with you, Shaq. What would you think about the Mavericks? 
Well, they were really in attack mode. The most telling side is how many times they got to the free throw line. They weren't all afraid to get their hand and get those elbows. Uh, you know, I'm a specialist when it comes to the elbows, honey. And Kenny, let's get your thoughts on the Lakers. Their inaccuracy from behind the arc was brutal. Shot selection, I didn't see any. The perimeter offense they're running, you can scrap that. They need to get back to the basics. Pound it inside, more pick and roll. Try to pick up some easy buckets in transition. And that's a wrap. With the third quarter approaching, we now send you back to Kevin and the crew. Well, we've got a second half of basketball for you. We think it's going to be pretty good. A big comeback, though, is needed for this game to be competitive, and it probably has to happen quickly. We've seen Josh Richardson really having a great game. Definitely been challenging the defense here early on, not settling for anything outside. He's been very effective on the move, forcing the action, getting to his spots, and finishing plays. And with a big gap on the scoreboard, the second half begins with very different goals for these teams. One side trying to mount a comeback, one side trying to protect their lead. So for the Lakers right now, LeBron and Davis, the incredible forward pair. Then there's Andre Drummond, then it's Contavious Caldwell Pope, and it's Caruso in a point guard. Let's now go to the 2K leaderboard to look at the teams that specialize in intimidation. Here are the real stats, real scores from the real NBA. The Lakers in fifth. I mean, terrific rim protection. I mean, they rotate and help on the inside as well as anybody. And, of course, you want to keep offenses on the outside shooting jump shots, and that continues to be the goal. First free throw is good. And he can't hit the second. Mavericks leading by 12. Richardson, no luck. On the wing. And that one goes long. Anjic passes to Persingas. Richardson against Caldwell Pope. No one near Doncic as he lets it fly. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. That one on Richardson. And that quick first step that Caldwell Pope possesses is lethal. Drawing the contact there thanks to his aggressiveness. And this is his second trip to the line in the game. one falls for him. Yeah, much improved foul shooter. KCP also starting to get to the line at a higher rate. So he gets them both. Second half just getting started. About a minute play. Richardson outside. Doncic outside. Back to Richardson. A three ball. LeBron grabs the miss. Okay, that's frustrating. You work hard to get these open looks. You know he liked that one back. And you know what? You allow a guy to get right to the rim like that. That's your only option. The Lakers have shot 8 of 10 from the line. That's an even 80% free throw shooting here. free throw is good the great thing about Anthony Davis he's efficient he shoots a great percentage from the field and from the line and he doesn't turn it over and 
and both free throws good for Davis. Mavericks leading by eight. Third quarter of basketball, we're about a minute and a half in. Jimmy Smith and foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. A guy who just continues to earn more okay. minutes. You know, Finney Smith is tough, and Greg, he is effective. Uh, he seems to become a better rebounder every year. More efficient. He'll take charges, commits hard fouls. And I don't think we've seen his ceiling. Finney Smith is a guy you can win with. The first one falls. Both shots good from the strike. Here's James. 20 points for him. With the floater, and the layup is up and in. LeBron's got 22 points. Every shot in the world at his disposal. LeBron with the soft teardrop over the top. Doncic right side. Here's Finney Smith. But they recover it. Again, the miss by the Mavericks. Missed four straight shots now. At one point, do you have to call a timeout and regroup? Near the three-point line, it's Doncic. Gets to the corner and buries it. Doncic has got eight. Well, you need to start somewhere. After four straight misses this half, let's see if this gets them going. That one good for two. Not many do a better job of carving out space for himself than Andre Drummond. Mavericks leading by eight. Now, here's Doncic. Eight points for him. From deep. The Lakers with the rebound. James has got four rebounds now tonight. And this quarter, he has clearly been off the mark. And they're running. Here's Finney Smith. And foul on the shot. So he'll get a chance at the line. That's on LeBron James. Okay. The first free throw is good. Dallas making a switch here. Redick is checked in. And the Lakers also making a switch. Horton Tucker's checked in. He hits one and misses one, each at the line. Lakers trail by nine. James outside. Stolen away. Nice job to interrupt the alley-oop attempt there. Here's Reddick. Here's Kleba. Rebounded by the Lakers. And here's the fast break. Davis leading the way. Kicks to James. LeBron is doubled. And it's Davis with the jam. Dominating at the rim, something AD has always enjoyed. Dallas calls timeout. And, and coaches looking to seize every advantage, maximize every possession. Critical part of the game. You have to be flexible. You have to be able to adjust what you're doing. For Przingis. And a look at the block shot number over the last few seasons for Andre Drummond. 
The blocks just aren't coming for him nearly as much as they were a few years ago. I think he's lost a little something in terms of that intimidation factor and that ability to change a game with his interior defense, and, and that's too bad. Now here's Coley Stein. He's averaging around five and a half points a game. High post try. Again, the miss by the Mavericks. Not sure what, what the D was doing there. Clearly a breakdown. You can ill afford to give a guy like him that good a look. Well, and it took a terrific effort at both ends to sustain this run. They've shown a lot of heart, a lot of fight, and they're close to taking the lead. Now, here's Reddick. Taking a look at his stance, he's averaging around seven and a half points a game. It's tipped, just five to shoot. Here's Horton Tucker, and that one drops for him. Horton Tucker's got his first bucket of the night. Yeah, this offense is rolling. They've been assertive, but they're also playing under control. And it has them in a great spot to take the lead. They love to get a few stops now at the other end. Now, here's Red on the three off target. Well, so far, this cold night from the field has not affected their ability to maintain this lead. And the rejection by Coley Stein. You better come stronger than that. Coley Stein, a presence defensively. That's a nice read. The value of keeping your eyes up. And here's Doncic from the arc. A rebound by the Lakers. LeBron's got six rebounds now in the game. And they take the lead. James has got seven points here in this quarter. The raw power of James excels at taking on physical defense and finishing. Dallas calls timeout. And the lack of rim protection, top of the list. And it boils down to the question. Toughness. One team showing it, the other allowing itself to be bullied. in for Dallas. Kyle Kuzma's checked in for the Lakers. And here's Reddick. He'll bring it up for Dallas. The end of the drought. It's hauled in by LeBron. LeBron's got his seventh rebound here tonight. And they haven't been able to turn it into a big lead, but their rebound advantage is starting to add up. Throughout the evening, he's gotten to his spots, and the defense has not adjusted. Passes it to Kleba. Now Brunson. James cover. Brunson scanning the floor. Here's Kleba. Second shot opportunity. That shot missing. And the Lakers go on the other way now. Some firepower from this offense tonight. Yeah, they got a nice groove going right now offensively. Plays it in off the pretty alley-oop. Now it's a five-point Los Angeles lead. Oh, Kevin, get a load of that one. Take that play and put it in the alley-oop textbook, boy. Oh, perfectly done. You're right. He put it on a platter for him. He has gone ice cold this quarter, obviously not helping their cause. The Lakers have been getting it done at the line, 10 for 12. And taking a look at their free throw statistics on the season, uh, right around 74%. Tim Hardaway Jr.'s checked in for J.J. Redick. And Los Angeles making a change here as well. Montrez Harrell, he's checked in for Andre Drummond. And that one falls for Anthony Davis. Mavericks trail by eight. Andrews outside. Hardaway with a wide-open look. Hangs on the trifecta. Hardaway has got 11. Yeah, he's in such a great rhythm right now. Makes sense to get him the ball any way you can. Let him decide whether to shoot it, whether to pass it. He's your catalyst right now. He's had five chances at the line, gone four for five.
and he makes the first. And the Lakers making a change here. Gasol's checked in. And James drills them both. Mavericks trail by seven. And Jidge passes to finish Smith. And here is Kleba. Anjic outside. Outside Hardaway. Shot clock at six. Puts it up from 15. The Lakers with the rebound. And, and they continue to control the glass. Strange to see Marcus Gasol shooting from outside. His game, Greg, wasn't always like it is now. I mean, he's Gasol has added a three to his game in the last season's with Memphis and, and it was an immediate success. He became a functioning stretch five. Early in his career, he was more likely to drag you to the block and just bruise you more than anything else. James outside and they double up James. Lakers working the ball around now. They get the rebound. Now the pass to Horton Tucker. Here's Gasol. You know what? They battled on the glass but couldn't knock it down. to Brunson. Here's Finney Smith. It's to Hardaway. Another three for Dallas. Attacking the defense with the pass. Don't need to be a hero. Kuzma outside. He kicks it to LeBron. Here's Horton Tucker. Guarded by Hardaway. Horton Tucker, that's good. And the Lakers lead by six. Another bucket down low. They've been the aggressors taking the ball inside and attacking at the rim. And that one's good, Doncic. And certainly not lacking in confidence. When Doncic gets these inside looks, he just jumps all over. Now Harold, and he can be counted on to put some points on the board every night. He's averaging right around 13 and a half points a game, and he makes that one. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. Kuzma against Doncic. Passes it to Finney Smith. A three-pointer off the mark. Not quite enough defense. That time around, just lucky he was off. LeBron passes to Kuzma. James outside. The pass to Kuzma. Harold trying to free himself up. No good from outside. Uncontested look. Can't fault the shot selection. He's money from there. Here's Horton Tucker. Looking at his numbers, he averages a bit over nine points a game. Kleba with the rebound. Kleba's got rebound number eight here tonight in the game. Right side, Hardaway. Brunson finds Doncic. Dallas again missing. Los Angeles leading by six. Here's Kuzma. Chalk up two there. Kuzma's got six points. Solid at fighting through contact. I like how Kuzma accepts these challenges and converts. Doncic against Kuzma. On the wing, Doncic. He's got 12. Good work defensively by Gasol. And not a night he's going to want to remember. Just not really able to score the basketball. Out of bounds, Dallas will take possession. A fantastic mobile one block. This one deserves another look. And those are plays that get you in front and keep you in front. <laughs> 11 seconds left in the third quarter of the game. Burke with it. Here's Persingas, and he was able to put it up in time, but doesn't fall. Good luck trying to score on Montrez. He's a physical defender who doesn't back down from anyone. And that's going to do it for the third quarter. Lakers lead by eight. 
And we'll get going after this from the American Airlines Center. Now let's take a look at our assist of the game presented by State Farm. And I'm glad this was the pick because I love this pass. Such a great dish. That's what I call court vision. Yeah, you also have the location of the pass. Puts it right where it needs to be, where his man can do something with it. Venom. And with three quarters behind us, let's see what this fourth period holds in store for us. Leba is the four with Przingis in the middle. Josh Richardson out there with Trey Burke, and it's Hardaway in at the three spot. That's the lineup in the game for Dallas. And they hold a huge advantage on the backboard. Harrell, the pass to Caldwell Pope. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Yeah, KCP steady there at the line. Nice work to draw the contact. Two shots. That free throw good from Caldwell Pope. He hits both from the stripe. Mavericks trail by 10. Pass to Kleba. Now here's Richardson. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. That one on Caldwell Pope. Okay. That's good from Richardson. And Richardson drops them both. And here's Caldwell Pope. He brings it up for Los Angeles. Pass to Caruso. Kicks to Hero. Six to shoot. Rosingas with the steal. Just over a minute played here in the fourth. Burke looking over the floor. Lock at six. Outside, Rosingas. Off target with his three. Lakers leading by eight. Loose. How the Mavericks moving it up. Burke with the ball. Makes it off the glass. Yeah, any chance you get, you want to put yourself in a position to succeed, and that's what he did there. Great job of reading the floor. Got to the rim and made a play. Basket counts. What a great shot. This is why Harrell shoots over 60% for his career. Now here's Burke. D right on him. Down low, here's Hardaway, and then Hardaway with the dunk. Yeah, he just punched the ticket on that one. That'll get the job done. Powerful two-hand jam. Caldwell Pope kicks to Caruso. Passes it to Kuzma. Fires the three. No good that time. And thus far, they've managed to overcome an off game from him off the engine. And a slam dunk by Richardson. Josh Richardson with an athletic play at the rim. It's all about making sure you get a quality look. And that's one. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Yeah, how about the body control on that one? Narrowly misses getting the deuce. At the line for the Lakers. At the line for two.
and he knocks down the first one. And the Lakers with some changes. Drummond comes in for Montrez Harrell. Davis is subbed in for Markeith Morris. And he makes both free throws. Mavericks trail by six. Burke the pass to Kleba. Now here's Porzingis. The pass to Burke. Six on the shot clock. Hard away against Drummond. And he's been a force on the glass all game long. He has led this team in rebounding and also taken on the role of enforcer. And well, he's going to have some explaining to do on the sideline about why he took that shot. Low percentage chance. If it's not there, give up the rock. Trust your teammates. Their ability, again, to stretch the floor, particularly in this second half. This was obviously a focal point coming out of the break. Look smart when the shots are going down. This could be a problem. That's his fourth foul with plenty of basketball left to play. Here's Caruso. To the paint. He kicks it to Drummond. And again, the Lakers, no good. Hard to figure out how he doesn't knock that one down. No defender in sight. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Yeah, the defender all over. Okay. That free throw good from Hardaway. LeBron's checked in for Kyle Kuzma. Good on both. And here is James. Pass to Caruso. Caldwell Pope outside. Drops in the tray. Caldwell Pope's got five points now in the quarter. Yeah, defenses beware. You have to close out hard on KCP and, and disrupt his rhythm. Now Burke. Shot clock at six. And Davis sends it back. It's out of bounds. The Mavericks able to retain possession here. Here's Burke, just two to shoot. And not shooting it as well as they had hoped in this half. And unless they start finding better shots, cutting into that lead is going to be very difficult. These are big buckets. He's been instrumental in helping them try to close out this game. Pass to Kleba. Now Burke. Passes to Hardaway. Over Davis. Again, the miss by the Mavericks. Lakers leading by six. Here's Caruso. Yes, it's James picking up the assist. LeBron's got his seventh assist in the game. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now you just need a bucket to get some momentum. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. That's And the first one drops. Yeah. 
Burke hits them both. And so James will bring it up for the Los Angeles Lakers. They've led by as much as 10. Caldwell Pope finds Davis. Kept alive. Drummond. Here's Caruso. Burke covering. James, no good. Average trail by six. Up top, Burke. He's guarded by Caldwell Pope. And the officials will call the illegal screen right there. And there it is. On a night when he's been so efficient handling the basketball, that's his first real mistake. And the Mavericks making a change here. Doncic is checked in. Lakers leading by six. Here is Davis. Back to LeBron. And they double up LeBron. Richardson against Caldwell Pope. And it's LeBron missing. There's some defense for you. For someone who's as good at shooting the three ball as he is, you, you need a defender who's equally good at guarding against him. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. And so he's picked up his final foul. And he will sit for the rest of this game. Dorian Finney-Smith's checked in for Przingis. And the first one at the line is good. Caldwell Pope drops them both. Mavericks trail by eight. Doncic outside. And there's the pass to Hardaway. Back to Doncic. Six to shoot. Again, the miss by the Mavericks. And the truth is, I've been there. He's trying to find the rhythm on his shot. He feels like he's close, and that's why he keeps shooting. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic and is a big part of why they've been able to get these good looks. Here's Finney Smith. Has to Kleba. Andrzej outside. Has to Hardaway. From deep three-point range, it's hauled in by Los Angeles. Drummond's got his 16th rebound on the night. Caruso looking for an opening. Inside. The shot misses. Nice D from Doncic. In the corner, it's Richardson. A three-pointer, no good. And here's Los Angeles. Big run right now going for him, 11-2. And it's slammed in by Davis. The fans are loving it right now. AD has been incredible tonight. Guys, they're looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively, for sure. And it's sent back by Drummond. And pushing it up Los Angeles. The Lakers again in transition. Mavericks trail by 12. Here's Richardson. So it's Richardson with the jam. And no doubt, they'd love to see him get a lot more of those opportunities. And that deficit will go away quickly if he does, Greg. James. And James throws it down. Beautiful timing on the part of LeBron. Powerful move off the pick and roll. Dallas calls timeout. You look at James, what a contribution. You know, he's been a one-man record crew down low. His consistent scoring has dictated the pace of this game. We'll see if they decide to front him, bring a quick double, or maybe even both to try to slow him down. Like my girl, man, and Lucy, yeah. I feel 
And now we present our New Balance Player of the Game, LeBron James. And guys, no doubt who our pick was going to be. Uh, he's made everyone else on the court look like they're playing at half speed. It's been total domination, and you can't help but just sit back and admire that performance. Well, to come in here facing a hostile crowd and have a game like he's had, that's what separates the good players from the great players. On the sideline, let's catch up with Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Well, during the break, I listened in on Rick Carlisle's huddle. The focus of his speech was hustle. He told his players, those guys are going to come at us. We have to match their intensity, and we have to play with a great deal of energy. We're all in here, fellas. Kevin? They've shown some strength in the paint today. Their work on the boards has been impressive. Caldwell Poe pass to Davis. And it's Davis finishing it off. Yeah, liking the vision there from Caldwell Pope, looking to get his guys going when they're open. Here's Doncic, and the layup's good off the glass. Allowed any room to operate, you know he's going to be aggressive. Here's LeBron, lays it up off the glass. LeBron's got the lead up to 14 now for Los Angeles. Hardaway trying to free himself up, and he makes good on the way up. Doncic has got 10 points here in the second half. The defense tried, but Doncic gets through. Luka able to put a smooth release on the shot, despite the contact. Now here's James. Drummond. Yes, it's James picking up the assist. Assisting. And the Lakers lead by 14. And Matador defense, that's one of the easiest shots he is ever going to see. And this is what happens when you start to break your opponent's spirit. The resistance is no longer there. And, and so just rolling to the finish line now in what has been a very confident-looking performance for the Lakers. At every opportunity, they managed to push the ball and keep the up-tempo game going. Yeah, I think it paid off, that's for sure. And this will make it 41 victories for them on the year. And, and with this win, they bring the season series to an end, guys, with a split two games apiece. And what a tremendous standout performance it was for LeBron. Throughout the night, he was their catalyst at the offensive end. Play after play was run through him with great success. That free throw good from Hardaway. Steve, if you were playing in this era, how engaged do you think you'd be on social media? Yeah, that's a great question, Kevin. I think I think a lot because I think right now that's just the way this era communicates. And obviously... There's some um, negatives to social media, but there's a lot of positive from the standpoint of being able to reach your fans, get your message out, especially what we've been going through in this time for our social injustice. But I also think there's a lot of marketing and branding opportunities in social media. And the dunk by James. Yeah, they can count this one in the win column. It has been a tremendous effort. I love what we saw from them tonight, and I'm sure they'll try to replicate it next time out. Carly Stein, he's checked in for the Mavericks, and then for the Lakers. Marcus Alls checked in for Drummond, and Wesley Matthews subbed in for Contavious Caldwell Pope. On the free throw, no good. And so Doncic will bring it up for Dallas. They trail by 16. They get it again, and that goes out of bounds. Last touch by Cauley Stein. And Dallas going with a whole new group out there. Los Angeles has gone into a funk from downtown in the fourth. Only one of their five three-pointers has found the bottom of the bucket. Caruso, the pass to LeBron. Matthews, left side. And again, no good by the Lakers. The defense got lucky there. That's one you expect him to drain. Seven second difference, shot and game clock. Here's LeBron, right through the D for the layup. James has got 42 in the game. They just blocked out the noise, kept on grinding, and this is their reward. And guess what? It's going to be a fun flight home. Total team effort. Big win on the road. And he gets it to go. 
Nine seconds left in the game. James outside. And so it's the Lakers taking care of business here. This one was over well before the final buzzer. The fans were waiting for something to get excited about, Greg, but they never got it. They sure didn't. I mean, they just rolled to this win. They made it look really easy. What an efficient performance at both ends. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thank you, Kevin. Anthony, a great team victory. What was most satisfying to you about the win tonight? Right, we just played hard. You know, we just played for each other. The ball was moving, wasn't sticking. And, you know, God made the right plays. You know, and that's what we've been doing all night, all season. And you know, I'm just glad we came out with the win. Well, it was a great win, man. Appreciate your time. Kevin, back to you. All right, David, thank you. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Greg Anthony, Steve Smith, and David Aldridge. This is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. So long.